chapter of machine parts exchange. Prepare tools. 3 mm inner hexagon spanner. Sharp nose pliers. Draw hook. 1.9 mm steel wire. The parts which need to be changed. All kinds of need. Knitting needle. Connected stitch. Spring needle. Selected stitch. Sinker. Feeder bases, brush, and so on. 1. Replacing the knitting needle. First step, use the 3mm inner hexagon spanner to loosen the barrier chip screw on each side of the needle bed and push down. Second step, use the draw hook to push away the needle gauge. Third step, push out the knitting needles which need to be changed of the needle groove. Fourth step, to separate the connected stitch and knitting needle, then take out of the needles which need to be changed. Fifth step, put the new knitting needles into the needle groove and make them combine with the connected stitch. Push them up and down to make sure the knitting needles are properly seated. Sixth step, push fit the needle gauge. Seventh step, Push up the barrier chip on each side and use the 3mm Allen key to tighten and retain the screws. 2. Replacing the connected stitch. First step. Use the 3mm inner hexagon spanner to loosen the barrier chip screw on each side of the needle bed and push down. Second step. Use the draw hook to push away the needle gauge. Third step. Push out the knitting needles and connected stitch which need to be changed of the needle groove. Fourth step. To separate the connected stitch and knitting needle, then take out of the needles and connected stitch which need to be changed. Fifth step. Put the new knitting needles into the needle groove, then put into the knitting needles to make them combine with the connected stitch. Push them up and down to make sure the knitting needles are properly seated. Sixth step. Push fit the needle gauge. Seventh step, push up the barrier chip on each side and use the 3mm Allen key to tighten and retain the screws. 3. Replacing the spring needle. First step, press up the connect stitch and knitting needle which need to be changed and over the spring needle to the maximum. Then, use sharp nose pliers to grip the stitch of spring needle and take it out. Second step, put the new spring needle and revert the connect stitch and knitting needle to normal position. 4. Replacing the selected stitch. First step, use the 3mm Allen key to loosen the barrier chip screw on each side of the needle bed and push down. Second step, use the draw hook to push away the selected stitch gauge. Third step, push out the selected stitch which needs to be changed of the needle groove. Fourth step, put the new knitting needles into the needle groove and let it not exceeding itself track weight. Fifth step, push fit the selected stitch gauge. Sixth step, push up the barrier chip on each side and using the 3mm Allen key, tighten and retain the screws. Five, replacing the sinker. First step, using 1.9mm steel wire, insert the steel wire which connect the sinker and insert it slowly as shown in the figure. Second step, to the position of the broken sinker, then pull back the steel wire take out the sinker. Third step, to withstand the steel wire after putting in the new sinker. Then, reset the original steel wire by using sharp nose pliers. Get back the reserved steel wire. Six, replacing the feeder bases. First step, use the three millimeter Allen key to loosen two screws which under the slide of feeder bases. Second step, move down the bottom slide of feeder bases take down the feeders which need to change from yarn carrier of feeder bases. Third step, attach new feeder bases to the yarn carrier bar. Fourth step, adjust the bottom slide of feeder bases in place and tighten two screws. Fifth step, move the feeders from side to side by hand. Pull down the gap does not exceed 50 C. Check to be sure easy moving and fixing firmly. Sixth step, Working up the front sinker, then 
put the height block in the middle. Seventh step. Push the new feeder bases above the block, then adjust height. Eighth step. Push the front and back knitting needles to knitting position, then push the feeder to the middle. Adjust the feeders to aim a middle position of needles intersection. Seventh. Replacing the brush. First step. Use the 3mm Allen key to remove the brush seat and put on a work table. Second step. Use the 2.5mm Allen key to open the brush clamp, then change into new brush. Third step. Put the brush seat back, locking and fixing by 3mm in a hexagon spanner. To master the correct method of changing machine parts, it can enhance the efficiency and seek more production time. Therefore, it can create high value in a given length of time. This videotape contains companies all kinds of machines maintenance and care, for reference only. Maintenance and care is according to customer's actual purchase machine model. If there is any technical matter, please contact with our company's customer service technician immediately. The company has the final power of interpretation.